Okay, uh, question 30. I'm not going to write the whole thing out. So let's just read over it. A pool 16 by 25 is to have a sidewalk of uniform width built around the perimeter. Calculate the width to the nearest meter. The area of the pool equals the area of the sidewalk. Okay, so 16 by 20, it's a rectangular pool, uniform width. 16 by 20. Okay, so, whoops, 16 by 25. So here's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to start by drawing this pool. Now this pool is going to be 16 by 25, and it's going to have a uniform border around it. So this sidewalk's being built around. It's going to look something like that. So start with your rectangle, put a border around it, and remember that that border is going to be uniform. So each one of these widths is going to be x. So x is a uniform width all the way around. Now that will help us make our equation. Now what I need to make is an equation for the border because the area of the border is supposed to be the same as the area of the pool. So, let's make an equation for the area of the border. What you need to know is that the area of the border is going to be equal to the area of the large rectangle minus the area of the small rectangle. Hopefully that makes sense. If you've got this and you've got this, if you want that shaded region, you find the big rectangle and subtract the small rectangle. So that's what we've got here. So let's start by getting the area of the large rectangle. Well. In order to do that, I need to know what these lengths and widths are. So this length up here, see the x here? So this is going to be x, and then 25, and then x. So what this ends up being is 2x's plus 25. That is our length. Now this one's the exact same thing. I've got x, I've got x, and 16. So this is 2x plus 16. So the area of the large is going to be this length times this width, which gives us our x's, and it's going to make our quadratic equation. 2x plus 25, 2x plus 16. And now I'm going to multiply that all together to get a simplified equation. So 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Uh, 2x times 16 is plus 32x. 25 times 2 is plus 50x. 25 times 16 is 400. Uh, not quite done yet. Going to simplify these two middle things. So 4x squared plus 82x. Those two just got together. Plus 400. Okay, so there's my area of the large. Now I subtract the area of the pool. So area small here is just 16 times 25, which is still 400. Good, just checking to make sure I got that right. So there's area small. There's area large. Now I can finally go get area border which is going to be the large minus the small. So here's the large. 4x squared plus 82x plus 400. And then I minus the small, so minus the 400. 400 minus 400 just cancels out. This goes to 0. So the area of the border is equal to 4x squared plus 82x. And there's my equation for the area of the border. OK, now I'm not done yet. I still have to calculate for that x, but before I calculate it for that x, I need to know what area of border they want. So if they had have said they want an area of the border to be 100 meters squared, I'd plug in 100. Or if they said they want it to be 1,000, I'd plug in 1,000. Instead, what they said is they want the area of the border to be the same as the area of the pool, that 400. So that means that the area of the border they want me to solve is equal to 400. So that's going in there. So 400 equals 4x squared plus 82x. Bring that to the other side, because we set it equal to 0. 4x squared plus 82x minus 400. OK, now, I'm tempted here to try to factor this thing again. If you don't like factoring very much, do the quadratic formula right here. There's a, there's b, there's c. Plug it through the quadratic formula and see what you get. I think, though, that I might be able to take out a 4. 82 divided by 4 goes to 20.5. Oh, I can't take out a 4. OK. So this, I usually try to common factor and then simple trinomial, but it's not going to work. So I'm going to do the quadratic formula here. x is equal to negative b, which is negative 20, sorry, negative 82, plus or minus the root of 82 squared minus 4 times 4 times negative 400, 4 times ac all over 2 times a, which is 4. So negative 82 plus or minus the root of something over 8. 
So 82 squared minus 4 times 4 times minus 400 is 13124. Now, if you got 324 here, you just messed this up because you didn't catch that these two signs make it addition. So make sure you catch that. Okay, now I'm going to solve for each of these x cases. So negative 82 plus the root of 13124 equals divided by 8 is 4.07. Or calculate your other case, 82 minus the root of 1. 3, 1, 2, 4 equals divided by 8 gives us negative 24.57, but that doesn't make any sense in terms of my picture. I can't have that big of a negative width. Well, I can't have any negative width, really. It wouldn't make any sense. That would be building the sidewalk into the pool, which would get messy. So the uniform width is that. Therefore, thy, they should build, uh, whoa, whoa, how's my spelling? A uniform width of 4.1 meters around the pool. That will make, that will be the width that makes it exactly the same as the area of the pool. Good for that? Hope so.